Two, Who's refilming. <laughs> On the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. In some major international news, yet another Latin American country is saying adios to its Alexa, president. did I fucking ask? This video is gonna be, this is a cursed video. Did not make you laugh, did not make you smile. Hi friends, it's Rory, and today I'm gonna do the end of the year tag. It's just me in this room, except for my cat, who you may see back there. And there's absolutely zero other people here. No one at all. No one. There's no one here. I don't know what you're talking about. Zero people. A ghost. <laughs> you're a very loud ghost. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Question number one. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? There's only one, and that is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I'm about that far in, and right now I've put it down because the main character is full of secondhand embarrassment, and I don't know what I'm going to do because she's literally just like an asshole. But I know this book is worth it because one of my best friends suggested it and I've seen people on booktube who have read it and said that it's great and that the bi representation is great and I really really need to push through but right now every time I look at it I'm like hey remember that one time that the main character was an asshole on national television and I just don't pick it up because of that. Question number two, do you have any books to transition to the end of the year? Yes, every single December I reread Pride and Prejudice. If you watched my uh, favorite books of the year video, uh, this is one of my, or favorite books of the year. If, if you watched my favorite books of all time video, this is one of them. This is a copy of the book that my grandmother gave me. And every December I try to read it. Question number three. Are there any new releases you're still waiting for? No, the last book I was waiting to come out this year was uh, Call Down the Hawk uh, by Maggie Steefighter, Steefighter, by Maggie Steefotter, and that already came out. So now the only thing I'm waiting for is the sweet release of death. Question number four, three books you'd like to finish by the end of the year. Call Down the Hawk, uh, Fury Born, which is behind me, which is by Claire Legrand, and uh, Soul of Stars by Ashley Poston, which if you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm currently reading. I don't know, what you're... Ah! You better stop, stop! Oh. <laughs> stop! Ah! And it's breaking my heart every single day and I freak out every, every single moment. Question number five, is there a book you think could shock you and become a new fave of the year? I have a feeling Soul of Stars is gonna be another five star read, just like The Iron Throne. Um. The question is, do I think it's going to beat out Girl Made of Stars as my favorite book? I'm not sure, but I think it could surprise me and take the victorious... I forgot the English language. Anyways, maybe. And the last question, have you started making reading plans for 2020? Yes, I have a couple of books that I plan to read in that year and I have several video ideas that I'm just waiting for the correct time to make them. And with that, we're done with this book tag and this video. As always, I have the link down below where you can register to vote. Make sure that you register in time to vote if you are eligible, make your voice heard. Unlike some people who forget and don't, or who try to and the website doesn't work and then they miss the deadline. Wouldn't know anything about that, huh, ghost? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye! Why did I sound like the, like, the Vanderdykes from, uh, the most popular girls in school? Right there. And they're like, bye! <laughs> I need to, um, click on